Hi, honey. Yeah, well, I, I pretty much just got here. Pretty much? Well, that's why I'm not yeah. I'm calling you now. Oh, shit. No, I just... Oh, shit. Yep. You gonna get it right this time? I hope so. Well, he's done it again. Another financial institution has fallen victim to his theatrics. For the latest on this story, we go to Cindy Vargas in Cerritos. This is the tenth bank in as many months to be robbed in this fashion. Federal authorities believe the string of heists to be the work of a single perpetrator and have dubbed him Hamlet due to the unusual way in which he performs. It seems he has a flair for Shakespeare, and apparently he's getting some rave reviews. I ain't no expert on Shakespeare, but he was pretty damn good. The FBI has traced his ill-gotten gains to a number of charities across the country. The search for Hamlet continues. For KGAB, this is Cindy Vargas reporting live from Cerritos. Woo. That'll put some hair in your chest, huh? You gotta pour some over your head. Ah, go fuck yourself, Billy. Hey, you got any acting work yet? Well, uh, you know, if I ever get really desperate, I can always become a divorce attorney, can I? Beat the shit out of waiting tape. I'm not a fucking hey, waiter, hey, right? Hey, 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 hey. To undying friendship. Teddy? Yeah, you know what she says about liquor with me. No. Did Dad know you're back in town? No, not yet. That was the old bastard anyway. I don't want to talk about him. Let's talk about something I care about. How long has he been in there anyways? I saw. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I sleep just fine at night, okay? I have a clear conscience. Oh, that's right, Sol. I'm sure he doesn't hold it against you. I mean, what's three years of a man's life, right? Hey, there he is. Well, thank you, Cahill. That's very sweet of you. See you soon. <laughs> Do I know you guys? <laughs> so are you famous yet? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Good to see you. Teddy. Hey. Come here. How's things? Predictable. Predictable, huh? Buzzard? What do you think? Well, you got two in the tower with Ruger Mini 14s, 30 round mags, 5.56 caliber full metal jacket. One on the perimeter with a Remington 870 pump, 12 gauge, double on buckshot. What about you? HK USP 9mm. And for the special occasions, we have a lovely Walther PPK. You're packing? Could you say that just a little bit louder, Teddy? Because I'm not sure all the guards that are. That is against the law. 
Okay. Well, I'd rather be tried by 12 than carried by six. Saul, please advise him. Yeah, Saul, why don't you go ahead and give him some of your expert legal advice? I don't do criminal law anymore. No? Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. <sighs> hey, it's still here! Glad I'm not. Can't imagine anything worse than still living here. Try being in a state prison for about a thousand days. Jess. Yeah? I wanted to ask you a kind of personal question. Um, can I? You want to ask me? Well, with the, um, well, in prison, how do you keep from getting, um, butt fucked? Oh, <laughs> come on, what? Teddy. What? I'm, I'm curious. You don't, actually. Oh, my God. No. I mean, it's really not that big a deal. I'm serious. It's. I mean, I was like you guys. I thought it was something I'd never do. I didn't think it was for me, but I liked it, you know? I mean, there were points when I was actually craving it. You know, I was longing for it. There's something really natural about it. <laughs> don't tell me you've never at least thought about something like this. Oh, please, no. Well, to be perfectly honest, I've had dreams about it. Sure. Yeah, I've had, uh, I had one. Dream, not a dream, though. It was actual, oh, never mind, just an experience or whatever. That was before I was married and all. Mm. Confession time, huh? All right, I was out on maneuvers once. I was sharing a foxhole with this guy, and now he started to come on to me. So, I don't know, I let him blow me. I gotta tell you, if you close your eyes, it's what the exact same thing. You don't even have to do that. Dude, what are you, you guys all going queer on me? I mean, Teddy, yeah, yeah, that I can understand, but uh, come on. You know, Saul, you don't have to be a queer to fuck another man, right? Assholes. Collection of assholes. Ah. Jess. Jess, to freedom. This place hasn't changed since high school. You sure you want to go through with this, Jess? I've never been more sure about anything in my life. Hey, Teddy, I need to get some cash. Drop me up to the next corner, all right? Uh, can I wait? What's the big deal? Hope is the big deal. She'll kill me. I got your wedding present, all right? Cash, I'm touching. Look, it's two blocks from the church. I can make it there in less than three minutes. Drop me off, Teddy. Yeah. Okay. Hello, before I okie dicks. Hey! Don't be late, okay? Trust me. Just wait here for a second, okay? It'll make me feel better. I'll tell you what. I'll go check it out. You guys just sit tight. Hey, uh, tell him to hurry up, please. Yeah, roger that. I've lost two. So, how's Mary? Oh, she hates me. Uh, come on. Come on, I just want to make sure he has one. You know, maybe it's just a phase, uh, her hating you. Uh-huh, um, no, she's, uh, she's pretty much hated me from the day I got her pregnant. You sure it's yours? <laughs> My shirt's sure mine? Yeah. She, come on, she was a virgin when I met her. Okay. Good friends, a weary... Stale, flat, and unprofitable seem to me all the uses of this world. <laughs> you, sir, down on the floor. And you, bid the players make haste. Come on, my love. Get thee to the vault. <laughs> we must hurry. Let's go, let's go!
no more thank you. Let's go, let's go! If you have hitherto concealed this sight, let it be tenable in your silence still. And whatsoever else shall happen tonight, give it an understanding, but no tongue. I will requite your love. So fare you well. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Drop the fucking gun or I will drop you! God damn it, Buzz! Billy, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Will you go in and get those assholes before they ruin my wedding day? Who? Oh. Buzz. Go get him. And Billy. Both. You want me to go get him? Please. Hold it! Hold it! Don't be a hero, buddy. Just hand over the gun. Come on, guys, we gotta... What the hell are you doing? What's going on here? Ask Billy. Holy shit! Grab him! Get him away! God damn it, Teddy! Please, nobody move. What? Okay, what should we do? I don't know. Well, I know what I'm doing. What? Oh, shit. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta fucking be kidding me. What are you guys thinking? Obviously, we're not, Jess. No, sorry. I'm getting married today, so you guys can just handle this on your own. Don't forget to smile on your way out. Say cheese. Oh, fuck! Get the tape. Billy, go get the tape. Come yeah. on, Billy, move your ass. Well, where is it? Where is it usually? Uh, excuse me. Tape deck is in the manager's office behind the picture of um, Ronald Reagan. Well, come on, Billy, get it. Move it, move it! Come on! Come on. How could you guys do this today, Buzz? What's my idea. Jesse, hold on. All you had to do was get me from jail to the chapel. Jess! It's the second Teddy. Oh, I, I don't think that tape's gonna matter much anymore. I don't think we're gonna make it to your wedding. What do we got here, Cuervo? Four, possibly five men, armed, in tuxedos. What? Hey, bud! Casualties? None that we know of. Hey, where's your button? Falling off. Hostages. Tough to say. Five to ten employees could be as many as 15 customers in there. This is not a good time for this. Is that it? Not quite. We got a witness who says one of them was talking funny. What do you mean? Sounding like Shakespeare. Sir, I think it's Hamlet. Contact the Evening News and the Daily Independence and, um, and send it out over the wire. I want this on CNN. This is a good time for this. Anything else? Yeah. Stay on your toes. This Hamlet guy knows what he's doing. He's a professional. Trust me. I'm a free man, you son of a bitch. Is this whoa, my wedding whoa, present? Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to kill you. Relax, Jess, all right? Do you have any idea what you've done here? Do you have any idea at all? You weren't even supposed to come in here, all right? If you'd gone to the church like I told you, none of this would have happened. Well, that's a moot point now, Billy. It's what? It doesn't matter anymore. It's too late. Moot. Then go, Jess. Go, get out of here. That's all you care to explain to Butch Cassidy here, how things actually work? I told you, I don't do criminal law anymore. Just indulge us, OK? Tell him. Okay. All right, fine. Outside of the obvious, but uh, on robbery, kidnapping, we have accomplice liability and probably conspiracy to commit a felony. What are you talking about? We are aiding and abetting as we speak. Do you understand that? Mm. No. Look, Jess, I'll take care of this, all right? I'll handle it. Well, handle it. 
Sheriff Bud Phillips, 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 Phillips of the Independent Sheriff's Department. You're completely surrounded. I want to speak to the person in charge. You got a name, son? Billy. Hi, Dad. You still there? You get your worthless ass out of that bank right now, you hear me? So how you been, Dad? Don't you belittle me, you piece of shit! I see you're still the same gentle, loving father that you always were. I'll tell you what, you ingrate. If you're not out of that bank in five minutes, I'll... You know what? Let me explain something to you, Dad. I am in charge here. I am calling the shots now, you hear me? And I will dictate who does what and when! Right. I'll call you back with my demands. And Dad, fuck you! Oh, that helped. Good negotiating skills, Billy. Maybe it's true. Yeah, maybe the Cubs won the pennant. Let me tell you something. That Hamlet guy's on the FBI's most wanted list. Billy's never been wanted by anyone. Sheriff. Sure. Press is here. Where can I find the sheriff? He's in there, ma'am. Shit. Well, Billy, why don't you just call your dad back? He'll probably listen. Fuck him. May I make a suggestion? Yeah, by all means, please. Um, you might want to release the two elderly ladies as a gesture of good faith. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Jesse Riley? Hi, Mrs. Johnson. Hi. I thought you were getting married today. Uh, yeah, I was, I was supposed to. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> If these fine citizens wish to stay, and you're in the releasing phase, perhaps you might uh, release me. <laughs> this is great, Billy. You've kidnapped a public official. Shit! All right, look, everybody just sit tight, all right? Nobody's going anywhere. Don't have to. They're coming to us. Another son of mine's not gonna play me like a puppet in front of all these voters. Billy! Billy, get your ass out here! You're so sure you're a man, why don't you come out and talk to me like one? Can we get any closer? Well, that about says it all. Hey, get them out of here. All right, now, move it back. Hey, Billy. Well, Billy. Stay close on Billy. Oh, thanks. Oh, you know, just same old, same old. Yeah. How's the family? Good. Growing up fast. Jimmy's playing soccer now. He says he wants to play in the World Cup. Just let me know when you two women are done gossiping. Well, well, well. Wouldn't your mother be proud of you now? Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. What you got in there with you? The usual misfits. You had nothing to do with this. I'll be the judge of that. This is between you and me. Why don't you just let him go? Look, you've been off in La La Land a little too long. You need a reality check, boy. And the reality is I'm in charge. I always have been and always will be. This charade's over. You're coming with me. I don't think so. All right. Not at this time. What are you going to do? Shoot your old man? You couldn't even shoot a rabbit. I like rabbits. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Storm the bank? Fucking crew! We're in it now, you know that, right? 
We're in it. Teddy! What? No. Cover the back. Yeah, I'll cover the back. So, you watch the front. No way. Uh, no fucking way. Attempted murder? That's as far as I go. I'm not participating in this anymore. You hear this? You hear this? I'm not involved in this anymore. Okay? From now on, you consider me a hostage. I'll kill for it. All right? Yeah. All right. Pull yourself together. I'll hold on the floor. Hey. Thanks. And much to the horror of the crowd and this reporter, Sheriff and insurgent mayoral candidate Bud Phillips has ruthlessly ordered his men to open fire on his very own son. Billy is believed to be none other than Hamlet, who has further frustrated investigators by leaving behind an unusual calling card, sizable donations to local orphanages. This mockery has landed him on the FBI's most wanted list and has some calling him a modern-day Robin Hood. The standoff continues. This is Cindy Vargas reporting live from Memorial State Bank, downtown. Show me how to use this. Teddy, what? It's not a toy. Yeah. Buzz, I was out there with you, okay? I was right there with you. You know, it's real easy for you to be a man. But I, I... This is a moment. Seven in the clip. Check. One in the chamber. Eight. <clears throat> Got it. Snap the clip in. Pull it back. Let it slide. And you're ready to go. This is the clip release. This is your safety. Yeah, can I? May I? Ooh. Sorry, I'm um, okay. Oh man, I'm liking it because I like it. It's got a nice feel, doesn't it? No, I mean this. Is that bad? I think I must have done something really fucked up in another life because all I really ever wanted to do was just get married and procreate. It's hated me since the day I was born. Do you ever want to have kids? What? Kids. You ever think about kids? No. I'm not going back. Get you out of this. I promise. Sheriff, Billy's coming out and he wants to talk. Well, it's about time. I, uh, uh, to Cuervo. Sir.
Listen, you think you can get us some food and something to drink? That could be arranged. about you. You got to talk to him, Billy. such a questionable shape that I will speak to thee. I'll call thee Hamlet, King, Father, Royal Dane. Oh, answer me! Let me not burst in ignorance, but tell why thy canonized bones, hersed in death, have burst their seamers. Why the sepulchre, when we saw thee quietly and turned, had thou its ponderous and marble jaws to cast thee up again? Say, why is this? Wherefore, what should we do? Well, I'm thinking we should uh, ask for political asylum in Argentina. What do you guys think? I think you're a schmuck. You should turn yourselves in before somebody gets killed. First time offenders, you're only looking at three to five. Months. Years. Unless someone dies, then you're looking at life. Except me, I'm looking at life no matter what. Three strikes and you're out, right, Saul? Three to five years, huh? Uh, what the hell? I've been in my own little prison for the last ten. It's called marriage. No, it doesn't end like this. So we need a <clears throat> plan. What if we ask for a plane? We can fly to Mexico. They don't extradite. Billy, we're in independence. <laughs> what, what are we going to fly out in a crop duster? What about a bus? We could take it to Bakersville, and we could just try flying out from there. Dog day afternoon, they take you out of the airport. I haven't seen it. Hey, you got any bright ideas? Well, you heard me. I'm not involved in this. OK, then shut the fuck up. Uh, you could get a helicopter, land it on the roof, Access it through the air ducts without even going outside. Really? And who's going to fly it? I will. Who is this guy? I guess I'm what most people commonly refer to as the disgruntled Vietnam vet. I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, occasional bouts of malaria, flashbacks, nightmares. I got a steel plate in my ass. I wet the bed. I'm convinced that my body is being consumed by cancer, which might explain my suicidal tendencies, but I can fly the hell out of the Huey. Lieutenant John G. Coleman. At your disposal. Gonzo Coleman? Where'd you hear that name? Holy shit, you gotta be kidding me. This guy is a legend. <sighs> Vietnam, 68 to 70. He flew over 300 missions in those two years. 23 choppers shot out from underneath him. 52 air medals, 12 silver stars, five purple hearts, and the Congressional Medal of Honor. And you forgot to mention dishonorably discharged. Actually, it was Section 8. Sergeant Buzz Thomas, U.S. Army, Special Forces. It's a privilege. No shit. Green Beret. So what are you doing out of uniform? Also dishonorably discharged. Buzz? 
It's a long story. How do you know so much about this bank? I've been casing this place for months. I was gonna rob it myself, except that your buddy over here got through the door first. Life is just a series of coincidences. Or a comedy of errors. They want a chopper. Oh, Christ sakes. Sir, sir, Bakersfield PD's on the line. Wanna know if they can get in on the action. I guess it's a little slow over there. Yeah, well, tell them to mind the goddamn business. What do you want me to tell them? Uh, don't tell them anything. Got some thinking to do. Sir, I think you better take a look at this. Uh-oh, Jesse. I think you better take a look at this. some sort of accomplice in this? Uh, no comment. Does Hamlet's mother have anything to do with this? No comment. Sheriff Phillips, do you love your son? Sheriff Phillips? How can this get any worse? Yeah, yeah I just pulled up. charge of this circus. Oh, yeah. Chief Bud Phillips. I'm Agent Hoover. No relation. This is Agent Carter. Coffee? Caffeine makes me edgy. So what's the poop? The poop is we've got five armed men in tuxedos and 11 hostages. Hamlet works alone. Well, seems like you picked up some merry men along the way. Able to ID any of them? Three so far. Buzz Thomas, Teddy Pollock, and uh, Billy Phillips. Phillips? Any relation? Perhaps an inbred cousin? <laughs> He's my son. Oh. <clears throat> so what are they demanding? More allowance? They want a chopper. So give it to him. On whose authority? Mine. Relax. Big Brother's here. You listen to me, you Ivy League pricks. This is my town, and that's my son in there. No, you listen to me, Daddy. This is officially under my jurisdiction, and any time I want, I can and will take over this operation. Make no mistake. This isn't much ado about nothing. I want Hamlet. God rest his soul. Used to fight just like you two. One morning we were going at it. Funny, I can't even remember what it was about. But I wasn't going to give in. Neither was he. 
So I told him, I have nothing more to say to you. You just get on out of here. Oh, how sad. Did he leave you? He stormed out the door, and he was so busy cussing me out that he walked right in front of the Greyhound bus. Splattered him all over my azaleas. Do you love him, honey? More than anything. More than anything in the world. Then don't waste time. You never know how much you got left. You don't understand. You don't... Why? No, but why, why should I? Because you say so. Okay, um, actually, I've got a little uh, news for you, baby. The days of you saying so are over. Okay, I'm not turning myself in. I'm sorry, what? What has gotten into me? Oh, okay. Yeah, what has gotten into me? Maybe something called life. Life! No, you listen. For the first time in my miserable, mundane, candy-assed fucking existence, I'm having a little bit of fun. And you're not gonna fucking spoil it, get it? Got it? Fucking good! Same. So I take it they found out, huh? What? You know what I mean? Be all you can be, but don't be queer. What are you talking about? I'm talking about your gender preference. I think one of those bullets must have bounced off your head. Oh, yeah? Look me in the eye and tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> You're full of shit. Am I? This above all, Buzz, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man. I don't understand the word you just said. Decaf, right? You ever have one of those days where you just want to mow down the whole fucking crowd? No. You're young. Give it time. Where the snipers I ordered? ATF will be here within the hour. Chopper. Cast and ready. I want you to position the shooters on the roof of that bank and on the building across the street. We'll bring the chopper in at daybreak and set it down over there. When they make that move, the sun will be in their eyes and we'll have them in a crossfire. No one will know who did the shooting. What about the hostages? It's a tragedy, Carter. So they gave me Section 8 and sent me home. So what's your sad story? Oh, I, uh, it wasn't exactly in accordance with standard military procedures. A rebel, huh? I guess you could say that. 
I was deemed inappropriate for this man's arm. All I ever wanted to be was a soldier. To serve my country. To wear that uniform. And they took all that away from me. Let me tell you something, Sergeant. A uniform does not make a soldier. A soldier is someone who is willing to stand up and fight for what he believes in, be it his God, his country, or his friends. And it does not matter if you are black, white, red, yellow, male, female, straight, or gay. We all bleed the same. I was sure that I had run down every single possible scenario of what could have gone wrong today, but this one wins the prize. Oh, you have to believe me. I, I didn't know what was going to go on Look, when I walked I know. in the door. I know that. It doesn't make it any easier, but I know. You still, you shouldn't have come in here. It, um... What was I supposed to do? Wait at the altar? Catch you on television? Wait to find out if you were... I love you. I had to come. But you don't have to stay here. You can't. You know, screwing up my life is one thing, but I'm really tired of screwing up yours. You need to move on to something better. To someone better. Hope. I'm letting you go. <laughs> oh, really? Y yeah. <laughs> that is so, <laughs> that's so male. <sighs> I'm letting you go. Oh, well, <laughs> if I could have let you go, I would have let you go a long time ago. Let's get something straight. I'm not going anywhere. Till death do us part. And I think that you should just drop the macho shit. If that's really the way you feel, then I don't think that you leave me any other choice. How many birds you got available? Yeah. They want a priest. Oh, Christ, is somebody dead? No, somebody wants to get married. Absolutely not. Give it to him. What? You heard the man? He said, give it to him. And I said, no, I'd be the laughing stock of the entire country. Are you challenging me? I just think that. I don't give a shit what you think, John Boy. Go set it up, Coda. No, it's no problem. Oh. Could I meet you in there? Sure. Okay. Look, I know what you're going to say. Hey, what a selfish little bastard I am. Only looking out for my own skin. Don't care about anyone or anything but myself, right? Um, actually, I was gonna ask you if you'd stand up with Jesse instead of standing with the hostages. Come on, hope you didn't even invite me. You did. Yes, and you didn't steal the ring. He did. You can't keep blaming yourself for his mistakes. No. But I can for mine. Look, I'm the one who refused the plea bargain. I'm the one who took it to trial. I'm the one who lost. What plea bargain? That's right. I didn't tell him. Do you get the picture? I wanted to go to trial. I wanted to prove myself, so I didn't tell him. I didn't tell anybody. took your life away. So 
So, how do you feel about me now? Like forgiving you. Who gives this bride away? I will. Jerome Willie Mays Johnson. My dad was a Giants fan. Thank you. Gentlemen, we are gathered in the house of the Lord. I don't think it's appropriate to be brandishing weaponry during the ceremony. We're in a bank. Well, we're in the presence of the Lord. And we'll be reciting the words of Jesus Christ, our Savior. And they make me nervous. In circumstances such as these, I like to start by reading from the scriptures. Let us pray. As the apostles gathered around him, Jesus looked upon them with great sorrow, for he knew that one of them would betray him. He stood before them as both judge and jury. And with a heart full of forgiveness said, freeze! Relax, Pops. We just eliminated the problem for you. The priest was one of ours. This hurts. It fucking hurts. You got yourself a million dollar wound here, soldier. <sighs> You're going stateside. It hurts! Just hang in there, Teddy, man. You're gonna make it. Just hang no, in there. No, no. Take me out, Billy. Just take me out. I'm a wounded horse. I can't race anymore. <sighs> You're never going to get out of here alive, Help Mr. Me. Green Beret, or should I say Pink Beret? We know all about you. You know what they do to boys like you? It hurts. Come on. Hang in there, Teddy. Teddy, you're going to be OK, I promise. Oh. we got to get him out of here. No, I'm not going out. You know what? I actually am. I am fine. I am fine. I feel fine. Teddy. Oh. Teddy, if you don't go, you're going to die. Buzz, I'm not going to give myself up. I'm not a coward. Oh, now oh. you listen to me. I've seen people die. And the one thing I've learned is it takes a hell of a lot more courage to live. That's it. Just keep singing. Dum, 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 dum. You know what? I'll do it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah, I'm gonna take it.
that's your first buddy to go down. Well, there's going to be more. This place is crawling with VC. We came in low, man. 30 minutes before dawn, nap of the earth cracking branches off our skids. And the LZ was so hot, it scorched air on my balls. You should have set up your claim wars. There's always cooks in the wire. Are you okay? I don't want to lose him again. Teddy Pollock was admitted to County General and is listed in critical but stable condition. I don't know what the fuss is all about. I think they'd be used to shotgun weddings around here. <laughs> you think that's funny? I went to high school with him. How touching. Show your first sheep, too. <laughs> Hey, hey, Carter! Come on, man. Hey, what are you doing? Come on, knock it off! I'm coming out. I want a face to face. Anyone takes a shot at me, you're the second one to die. All right, listen up. I am officially taking over this operation. Any attempt to interfere will be met with swift, severe punishment. And if you so much as fart in my general direction, I'll have you shot. Sit next to me. Just to remind you, he's a green beret, and he won't miss. I'm listening. We want a bus. I thought you wanted a chopper. We want a parked out front, windows tinted. Tank full of gas. Now just slow down. You give me something, I'll give you something. That's how it works. The priest. He's still alive? Too bad. Felony murder gives me a hard on, but the night is young. One of the hostages. Leaves me limp. Why don't you tell me what you want? It's not what I want. It's who I want. We have a deal? I'm stiff as a boy. Charming. Stand up with me. Look to your left. Stop. in the sword. He stays. Will you let me hear from you? I'll try. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Jesse, thank you for far. talking to her. Uh, be good to yourself, yeah? Hmm? I will. You okay. too. I've been ordered out of here, Sergeant. But I would consider it an honor if you were to wear this into battle. Battle hell. You ain't seen nothing yet. Sons of bitches win. You're all gonna die. <laughs> <clears throat>
fifth part. You mean is he in the bank? Yeah. No. Come on. He was released from the pen this morning. He he was supposed to be married today, and a woman in a wedding dress ran into the bank this afternoon. What's she doing? Making a deposit? What about you? I suppose you don't know him either. No, I know who that is. That's Jesse Riley. I've known him since he was in diapers. Okay. But he's not in that bank. This town's really starting to piss me off. They grow up fast, don't they? Before you know it, they're robbing banks. <sighs> How's that Hamlet story end, anyway? Where do you think you're going? I'm gonna go talk to my son. I can't let you go in there. Well, you're just gonna have to shoot me in the back. How can we end this? What do you want from me? You really don't know, do you? I want you to play catch with me. I want you to help me with my homework. I want you to rouse me out of bed at 5 o'clock in the morning and take me fishing. I want you to have a beer with me and talk about girls. Most of all, I want you to tell me that it wasn't my fault. What wasn't your fault? Come on, Dad. You can't even look at me without seeing her. Just leave her out of this. No, I'm not going to leave her out of this. It's all we ever did was leave her out. Jesus Christ. You... I don't know a thing about her. I don't know what kind of woman she was. I don't know what made her laugh, what made her cry. I don't know what kind of ice cream she liked. I don't even know what color her eyes were. I don't know a thing about my mother. Except that you blame me for her death. I lost her too, Dad. But I didn't kill her. Green. She had the most beautiful green eyes I'd ever seen. Green as spring grass. Scoop of rocky road on top of orange sherbet. <laughs> I'd like to say, did the best I could, Billy. But son, I was lost without her. I brought you up the only way I knew how. Can I ask you something? Why Hamlet? Yet I do believe the origin and commencement of his grief sprung from neglected love. Because he wanted a father, not a ghost.
I just wanted to look at this. No. No, no. It, but it... It's okay. It's soaked through. I know. I just wanted to thank you for being such a good friend. Thank you. What's this? A gift. <laughs> the bus is here. A bus? Thought that wasn't a good idea. We're not going to Bakersfield. This is Agent Carter. Showtime. Oh, and boys, most kills gets a trip to Disneyland. I could do under the circumstances, Buzz. All good. No, Billy, I'm going. It's me that he wants. The fuck this? No one is getting off this bus. And this bus isn't moving unless I get off. Do you understand that? Oh, please. Let me do this for you, okay? It's all Jacobs. Don't give up your day job. I always wanted to do that. Look, I am. Have Margarita on me. Give them hell, counselor. Sacrifice yourself for your friends. Well, what can I say? The friendship runs deep. Now move the goddamn cars. I guess I overestimated your intelligence. You didn't actually think I was going to let that bus leave, did you? <laughs> actually, I didn't. What the hell is he doing? No idea. Come on, man. Don't make me say some cliche line, okay? No, 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 
Saul Jacobs, being of not so sound mind for getting caught up in this mess, and obviously not of sound body, I'm dead, do hereby declare this my last will and testament. I bequeath everything I have to my friend, Jesse Riley. I don't know what three years of a man's life is worth, but one thing I do know is that life itself ain't worth much without love. I guess that makes you one of the richest men I know. I love you, Jesse. At least as much as a man can love another man without being gay. Sorry, Buzz. As for you other guys, your legal fees far exceed anything I have left to give to you. So I bequeath to you my eternal friendship. I do have one final request. Remember me. Shit, they keep jumping. 
goddamn ramp. You got him now. There's no exit on that road in Tokyo State. This is Hoover. Suspects are on Highway 91. Set up the roadblock at Old Mill Road. We cut them off at the pass. I want my snipers lining the entire perimeter. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Bring it in, bring it in. Move down, we're in. I want the snipers up the tree line. Rest and keep the distance yourselves around these cars. What's he doing? Come on, we gotta climb on board. That's crazy. You got a better idea? Come on. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Be careful! Alright, climb up, come on! Bring it in here! Oh, come on up! Come on! You got it! Oh, shit! Jesse, hang on! I'm okay! Climb on up, Hope!
cultura Hostages are recovered, unharmed. Good. They're all mine now. When they come around the bend, I want the driver and the tires taken out immediately. But, sir, standard procedure. I don't give a fuck about standard procedure. And I don't have time for insubordination. Now lock and load. Yes, sir. That is the question. But it's as nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to, Consummation devoutly to be wished. To die. To sleep. A chance to dream. Ah, there's the rub. When that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we've shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life? The dread of something after death, the undiscovered country, from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have, and fly to others that we know not of. This conscience does make cowards of us all. On my order, Carter. Be all my sons remembered. Thanks. 
down, sir. Sir?